We are the world. Concert for charity. With us in studio, we have Dr. Elaine Monica Davis, and she's she wears many hats. She's the Dean of Consular Corps. She's the Honorary Consular Consular for Bahamas. She's also a Dr. U. We lecturer in medical sciences, first female dean, and also accompanying her, we have the infamous Fridge Jason Citran. Good morning. How, How are, are you, you doing? How are you? How are you? All right, so we are talking about a wonderful event, We Are The World. Tell us a little bit about it. We Are The World is a concert that is being done for charity um, for the proceeds will go to United Way. The Consular Corps is a body made up of many different persons who represent countries from various parts of the world. Um, we are doing this concert as our primary fundraiser for 2017. In the past, we've had very successful um, fundraisers, um, International Food Festival, led by our former dean, um, Amir Haider. Uh, we did that for several years, and um, we decided we would um, shift gears a little bit and bring, you know, sometimes you do something and after a while you need to stop it for a while and then bring it back. So we would like to do that. So we're going to use the concert, which is a musical and song concert with huge talent, mega talent. And we're also showcasing some of the, uh, a lot of the artists are known, all of them are known, um, all of them are known in their own circles. Some of them, like Jason Fridge here, are known internationally, um, but it's an opportunity to showcase some others. So we, Excellent. And with a different type of, of, of music, it's more like relaxing and calming music. This, these days have lots of stress, so we're trying to, um, we, we have multi, multifaceted goals for this concert, but I can't say all at the same yes. time. So I understand you're having a little bit of a collaboration here with the food festival and the concert. Tell us a little bit about this disjuncture. Right. It's not actually a collaboration, but I wanted people to know that there will be food there. It's not a food festival, but um, the concert will start off with a, a, a mingling. It's 6.30. Uh, we'll, start, we'll start the show exactly at 7 o'clock, and um, uh, the show will run for a while. Then we'll have a refreshment break because we have... Um, generous sponsors that have been um, helping us out with that. And at the end of the show, which will probably be around 9, 9.15, then we'll actually have um, edible refreshments, not just liquid refreshments. And um, this will be the same for, we have different tiers of, of pricing for tickets, different contributions to the charity, which is United Way, as I said before. So persons would be paying $800, $600, and $400. $800 would be for tables of um, 10 persons, so you can get a group of 10 persons together. The 600 tickets would be um, up front and personal on stage, and the 400 would be standing in the back with cocktail tables for those who want to dance, move around without blocking anybody. And we've called these three uh, categories, Orchid, Anthurium, and Pui. i really trying to get away from the general admission VIP and VVIP. I really don't like that nomenclature. So we're using Flowers of the Caribbean. Um, and uh, the, the, the food will be, uh, it's, it's, it's at the Radisson, so it's going to be food which will be palatable and enjoyable and delicious for all. Now, uh, Mr. Jason Sicheran. How are you? I am well. Uh, we, we'd like to know about your role in this particular event. I understand that we'll be having, you all will be having a, a concert where the opening is going to be gospel music. Will, Definitely. will you be part of the opening? I'm, I won't be part of the opening, but I'm going to do, I'm going to come in at some point. Um, to be decided, um, I will of course give the people some good, you know, my, my vibe, which is more laid back stuff. People could get up and dance, you know, more relaxing music, because that's what I, lo I love to do. I love to get the people that, that, that old school kind of flavor. Yeah, and the they theme. could just, yeah, you know, feel good music, feel good music, that was all about. The theme actually falls in line with what you do. So Definitely. you are ideal, the ideal person. My, my seasonal Christmas song too, you never know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel to be part of this particular event? It's great to be part of it. You know, um, I met Monica and she asked me about it and I told her definitely I want to be part of it. Because you know, it's all about, as I said, a charity event and I love to give back, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I'm coming out to give the people a great show. And I just want everybody to come out and support the event. You know what I mean? So. Now, we, you, you mentioned it's a break from stress. And, mm -hmm. and being a doctor, you would have some background information on the type of music that people mm -hmm. listen to and the impact it can have yes. on their health. Tell us a little bit about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. 
It has been proven through research that the type of music that you listen to um, has a significant bearing on your pulse rate, your heartbeat. So if you're listening to calming and relaxing music, your pulse rate will go down, so your heart will have less work to do, pumping the blood throughout the body. Um, it's all well and good to be gyrating and jumping up and down and having fun. That's great. That makes you feel good too because you get endorphins. But in terms of generally, like for example, I listen to 97.1 wherever I am, wherever I go, all of my radios. And that's very calming. And it really does give you a different perspective on life because in the midst of all the confusion and all the stress and all the, the overwhelming deadlines that we all have in different ways, there is that music in the background that sort of feeds your spirit and feeds your soul and keeps you on an even keel. Now, you mentioned 997. Yes. And Celia Scott, I understand, is yes. also part of this event. She Tell is us. indeed. We are so happy to have her as our MC for the evening. Great. I mean, Celia's voice is just amazing. And her philosophy on music and ours is, is very similar um, because Fridge likes that kind of feel-good music. I love feel-good music, and Celia plays it all the time. She's amazing. I understand our very own CEO, Mr. Wendell Constantine, will be performing. Absolutely, absolutely. Wendell. So I'm really, you know, everybody's looking forward to that because we all know now it's always a toss-up for Wendell whether he sings or he MCs. But we've got him performing this time, and we're so thrilled about that. Who are the other names we have uh, on the list of performers? Um, we have lots of other names. We have uh, persons like Roxanne Lane. We have Wayne Harris. Now, these people s formerly sang with Evangelion. They still sing with Evangelion, but they also have their own church groups that they sing, and they'll be forming a great part of that spiritual and motivational gospel segment. Roxanne Bob, a doctor, a former student of ours at, at the University of the West Indies, actually, she is also a fabulously talented person. So those three are actually going to do a collaboration and then they'll, do some, uh, they'll each do some of their own um, tunes. We're going to be having duets and so on. We have Natasha Babo, who's well known locally as well. Um, uh, she's an excellent singer, and she's done a lot. We have persons, um, I, I haven't been counting them, but there's a, there's a new young lady on the scene called Naida Andrews, whom I was privileged to hear on Sunday at the First Citizens event. And she is. She's young and hugely talented, and she's going to sing a song called Phenomenal Woman, which she composed herself. So this gives us two as a consular core the privilege to be able to help somebody break onto the market, break yeah. onto the scene, and she's got a good future. And we have two persons coming in from Jamaica. Um, one is um, Dr. Charlie Roberts, who's also a graduate of UWI um, in Mona, and he has sung with um, groups like Third World and Inner Circle in Jamaica. He's from Antigua originally, a phenomenal artist, a voice like Larry Graham, a voice like Stylistics. He can do all kinds of stuff. And he has kindly agreed to come over. And um, uh, Karen Smith, who is well known in Jamaica for her um, concerts and so on. So it's really a, 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 an eclectic mix of wonderfully talented people, people who are willing to give back, people who are coming and anxious to give a wonderful show so that people can just have a little relaxation in the midst of all the turmoil that we're going through. Oh, that, that's really great to hear and yeah. something that is definitely needed. Now, Absolutely. Mr. Sicharan, music is not just a career for you. This is an opportunity to give back, as you rightly said. Definitely. It is a charity event. And yeah. not just that, but we just learned that music can help with your health. Well, I, 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 I'm no hearing this myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I mean, this this is what this is the kind of music that you know I I love you know I just I enjoy singing ballads and that's what people love to hear from me too you know I mean that's my style and that's what the people want to hear all this. So it's, it must be a fulfilling experience for you knowing that you impact so many lives through something that you love to do. Now it's a blessing at the end of the day you know when I get up in the morning I thank God for the talent you know I mean most um, most importantly because and it's about it's about the people it's not about me and because at the end of the day if it was not about the fans. There's no, there's no fridge, you know what I mean? So it's a blessing to be able to, you know, get up in the morning and be able to do what I love. And as I said, to give back, you know, give back. To, it's always important to give back. And this is not work for you? It's never work. Once, it, once you're doing what you love, it's not work. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, just, it's just, a, just a great feeling to, you know, do what you love. Great. Music. And for just keep people cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're keeping them nice, nice cool, and cool, nice mellow, and, cool. Mellow, mellow, yeah. and all of that. 
So, so what is different about this particular year's event as opposed to many that would have gone in the past? Um, What's unique about it? The uniqueness, I think, is that um, we, we're still a body that does fundraising for charity. We never keep the money for ourselves. What is different this time is before we had given to a smaller, we, we, we gave a large sum to a particular um, charity and we gave several smaller sums to other charities so a lot of people benefited. Now this time, because this is the first time this is being done, it's unlikely that we'll make the amount of uh, money for charity that we had in the past, but we're going to give it a great shot. And it's better in this case to give just to one charity so that you don't have to water down the amounts. It is hoped that, um, I'm, I'm hoping that this can be um, also on our calendar because we decided as a body that we would have um, two fundraisers. We would like to have two fundraisers for the year. So what we can, we have another idea for next year, early, maybe the first third of the year. And then after that, by next year, we may decide that we can revive the, the food festival and then we can have another. So we have choices. If we have three prime events, we can do two a year and, alter, and keep it fresh. So people will, will be able to enjoy and at the same time be, be, be giving back. What would you say the response has been so far? Well, um, up to last night, for example, I was at a concert put on by the Korean embassy, which was amazing. They brought flutists from, um, some people say flautists, but they pronounce uh, flutists, from, from Korea. They were amazing. And the row in front of me, a group of ladies, one of whom I know, were just, I didn't know it was her at the time, they were just singing away because they played oldies and stuff as well. So they were, they were playing um, tunes like the Beatles tunes, um, some classical music, some sound of music. It was amazing. And these, these ladies in front of me were just singing away and rocking. And so I said to them, I said, you know, you really need to come to our concert. And the response was, let me know about it. Tell me about it. We're coming. And they have, you know, other friends and stuff who like this type of music. It's particularly for people who like that type of music. And even if they don't, it's really worthwhile coming because I have, I have witnessed all of these artists personally, and I'm a music aficionado. So it is absolutely good stuff. And it, you know, we, we may make some converts into this type of music, particularly if they know it's going to help them to balance their lives. Well, October 14th, 2017, 6.30 p.m., Radisson Correct. Ballroom, Councillor Corp, Trinidad and Tobago, Concert for Charity. And uh, you have $800, the Orchid, 600 and $400, mm -hmm. all right? Closing comments. Mrs. Sichuan, for those who are looking on, why should they attend this event? I need to attend the, attend the event because I'll be there. <laughs> 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 now, on a serious note, you know, um, I think it's going to be a great evening of entertainment. Um, it's always, and you know, it's always good to, for the people to give back. You know, come on and support. It's not really, I mean, just come out and have a great evening with the family. Um, the, the music will be great. Um, the people will be great. And um, I, I'm, I'm guaranteeing that, that I will put on a great show. Dr. Davis, closing comments. Uh, we uh, would like to extend an invitation to all persons who have an inkling that they may like this kind of music, and for those who even don't, because we're not only doing it, we're, we're, we're doing multifaceted things. We are aiding a charity. <coughs> we are going to be giving the funds to children between 11 and 18 years of age. That's a really critical stage of life in the country right now and in the region where they decide whether they're going to continue with school or not. So we would like to tangibly be able to help that segment of, of the population. We would also like to help the other segments of the population, the working force, who have um, been under some constraints for some time and are likely to be under some more in, in, in the near future. And we would also like to establish a, a spirit of camaraderie through music. Thank you so much for being part of our show. Thank you for it's having us. It's a pleasure Thank having you. you all. Thank you so much.